<coughs> oh, what's good, everybody? In the house. You wanna know what product has given me this insane hold and texture? The one that I've used today in this video. Stick around, it's coming, you'll find out. Also, check out this hoodie from Malaco. Love these guys, they sent me this hoodie and my fiance a matching hoodie. What's that? Yeah, your boy over here got engaged over the weekend. Not sure when this is uploading, but um, I'm engaged now. And for those of you who can never quite figure it out, I'm engaged to a, a, a woman. Someone of the, of the female nature. So yeah, I had an absolutely wonderful weekend. Uh, your boy is officially engaged taking that next step. And if you guys do want to check out Malaco, I do love these guys. Uh, link is in the description. They are a UK based brand. Anywho, on to today's video. I got brushes and combs for days, son. Line them up. I thought, you know what? So many different brushes out there. So many different combs out there. What do all of them do? Why would you pick this one? Why would you pick this one? Why would you pick this one instead of this one? You know, that's what we're gonna talk about today. So there's a lot of different brushes out there. I've picked four that I believe to be some of the more popular options. And we're gonna go through it, see, see why you would use each and every single one of them, or why you would use one instead of the other. So we're gonna start out with what I consider to be the all-rounder, and that is this guy right here. This is the paddle brush. Famous paddle brush. Now for each brush or comb, I'm gonna give you a few of the features and then how I personally use them if I'm gonna use them. So starting out with features. The paddle brush. Jake, you interrupted. I quit your coffee. Oh, thanks. Not all of it. Mm. Oh, that's so good. The paddle brush is known to be one of the more gentle options out there. It's not gonna tug, it's not gonna pull. It's meant, it's, it was actually created to smooth out and uh, detangle, get away any kind of kinks and knots, stuff like that. Also, the paddle brush is excellent at distributing product more evenly throughout your hair. So, especially if you have damp hair, you take some product like a pre-styler, Emulsify that, run it through. The paddle brush is really gonna evenly spread that through if you comb that out in damp hair. Paddle brush is also safe to use in damp hair compared to others, and that is because it doesn't pull and tug. It's gonna just glide through nice and smooth, detangle, distribute. It's a good foundation brush, basically. Next up, we've got the round brush right here. As for the features, this is your volume guy. It's gonna give you some crazy height, some crazy volume in that hair. If you use it correctly, you'll also be left with a nice wave in your hair. You can be left with, you know, that curl, that fringe curl swoop. Round brushes definitely take time to get used to, but if you do use it right, you'll be left with that nice, um, fluffy, bouncy hairstyle. Now, from personal experience, I find that the round brush is the most finicky to use. It's, it's the one that definitely tugs the most and pulls the most at your hair. Um, and if you use it long enough, you'll start to see some hair strands on your brush. For that reason, I don't usually use round brushes. I can get pretty much the same result from a different brush, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you next. This next brush is the one that I've used the most, and that is this vented brush right here, AKA Joe's favorite brush. Coat brush, yeah, it is brush. Now, a vented brush like this tends to combine the best of what a paddle brush has to offer and what a round brush has to offer. It's kind of got these, all these elements intertwine. And if you're only looking to get one brush instead of multiple, my recommendation would be the uh, vented brush. Unlike the round brush where the bristles are kind of all over the place, the bristles over on the vented brush are on a more kind of even surface area and that makes it much more gentle for your hair and doesn't, it doesn't pull, I would say it doesn't really even pull at all whereas this does pull and tuck. From experience, I would say that this is pretty much just as smooth and soft on your hair as a paddle brush is. The only difference is that you're dealing with a smaller surface area and the bristles are a little bit longer. That being said, you can still use it to distribute product, to get your hair going in the right direction, uh, all that stuff. But then you can also use it the same way you would use a round brush. And this is why I like it so much because it's so versatile. I use this over a round brush any day to build volume, especially in the fringe area get that same curve that I was talking about beforehand and do so in a much more gentle way without any tugging or pulling. It of course does come down to personal preference. From my experience, this does just as well as a round brush and can even substitute as a power brush, though I still do like having this on hand just because of the wider surface area. As for the final styling item, we're dealing with this comb right here. Now a comb is like a painter's finest paintbrush, the one with the smallest tip that you just Finish your piece of art with all of the little details. 
like that tiny bird in the corner of a painting done with a small paintbrush. That's what this is. The biggest use of a comb is for really precise and tight hairstyles. If you're going for a really clean, slick back, you're going for a nice and neat pompadour. Combs are often, not always, but they are often accompanied by slicker, shinier uh, hair products and hairstyles. So in this case, Fit Sample by Bloom On. To demonstrate using this comb uh, for my slick hairstyle, I'm gonna be going through with this right here. So that's Fit Sample by Bloom On Styling Mask Pomade. So this is our pomade. We've got a limited amount in stock right now. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, that is in the link down below, but we don't have that many units. They're fantastic for sharp side parts and getting really precise lines um, and making it look really neat and tidy for that side part. And in addition, they can also be used to distribute product in damp hair even more, kind of like an extra level on top of a paddle brush. Like I said, one of my main purposes to use a paddle brush is to distribute product. After I do that, if I want to, if I feel like for some reason there's still a little bit more clumps left over, that's when I can take this with those fine teeth, really dig through that and distribute, distribute nice and evenly. Once your hair is completely dry, you've worked that pomade in, in my instance anyways, it's pomade. That's when a fine tooth comb is at its best. You work your hairstyle to perfection until you get those pretty lines and it's looking real nice and clean. So the product that I've been using throughout this entire video is this right here. And this is a sample of our upcoming clay. It's not gonna be in this jar, this is just a, um, a uh, sample jar, but this is the formula and this is the collaboration with Cameron Cretney. So this is Cavalier Clay by Cameron Cretney and Bloomon. Um, coming in a couple of weeks, we hope. Well guys, that is everything that you need to know about these four popular styling items. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you wanna check out any Bloom On products, especially if it's sample, like I was saying, there's a limited amount right now. It will be linked in the description down below, along with original, smooth, and our new packaging. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope that you guys have a wonderful evening filled with lots and lots of baked beans, if you, liked, if you like baked beans. That's all I gotta say for now, and I'll see everybody next time.